How's it going everyone? Hopefully you're doing well. Welcome back to the grind and welcome back to the T95. But we do have the big gun, okay? We have got it beautiful. I didn't actually end up streaming this, but it's fine. Like I, It was only a few games, to be honest. Like It wasn't even really like a stream length of games that I played. So yeah, we're going to get going in this tank and let's see if the gun actually makes any difference. We do have eight premium rounds. I said I was going to fire any, but like if I meet um, like type fours and stuff like that, then I would, I would want this. So anyway, Let's get into some games, shall we? Okie dokie, we get Roomberg. Straight away, you're going to end up uh, actually see that I've changed the colorblind mode off. Um, honestly, I just wanted to change. That's like the only real reason. Um, I do think that everything blends in better with non uh, with non colorblind mode. For example, like if I shoot and the reload time is still going to be red. Like, the, the crosshair is still red, even though that it should really be blue. Like, there's there's just certain things in this game that colorblind mode just doesn't really work. Um, so, yeah, and I, I like it to be all uniform. Like, it sounds a bit weird, I know, but I don't know. I just want to change. If there is anyone that is colorblind, um, then let me know and I'll change it back. So, I'll only do this episode in colorblind mode. In non colorblind mode, um, I'm not going to record like the whole week. Oh, hello, Mr. Phase One. Oh, mistake. See, this is the T95. This is the T95. This is the tank that everybody fears because they just don't want to get slapped for 750 damage. With more than enough standard pen. This is beautiful. Actually unlucky there. You can um you can pen that. But I think it's gonna be a little bit unreliable with uh this little pen. There we go. We ended up penning it eventually. Do I go around here? Projector 46. What on earth is happening here? Well angled. The underneath of his... Um, under, uh, sorry, above his tracks, you can pen. It's like that for most tanks. Thanks, RNG. He dies though, so it's all good. I can't pen that. Not if he's at this type of angle. Yep, HG is useful, isn't it? Yep, should really do 300 odd damage to a tank that I can't pen. Literally half my alpha. Not broken at all. Actually surprised that he managed to snap me, to be fair. Alright, how are we going to play this? Can't realistically push forwards. There's no arty, so we don't have to worry about that. But like, I can't really. Actually, I can. I can kind of push. Went high, unfortunately. Let's just try and keep these capolas between. Uh, 
me and him, like, in this turret. Everyone seems to be just gods at this game, apparently. And of course it goes wired. Well, rip. You know, less than, what is it, like, I don't even know. That's less than 100 meters, right? Just misses point blank, okay. Nice, we got a new upgrade style for the E3. Good, good, good. Right, team score wise, we done okay. I mean, let's go and have a look at battle hits quickly. Like, if I had hit him here, we would have done 700 damage odd. Like, we probably would have still died, don't get me wrong, but it would have been nice, right? Especially if we had hit the Capola earlier, rather than it going way up high. Um, bad shot there. Like, we kind of rushed the shot because we wanted to try and get him here, but he was moving back, so... That's fine. We pen this. No, we don't pen this. Mm, next one pens. Yeah. So, yeah. It is penable. It's just a 50-50 most of the time. Uh, TS5, we do 750 damage to him there. Yep. And then, of course, we miss the TS5. A little bit of unlucky RNG. Like, and then against me, this phase one hits my Capola every single time. Because why wouldn't he, right? Meanwhile, I can't hit his, hit his. Like, they just hit my Capola every time, man. Like, bar one shot. I don't know. Like, so lucky. Especially this shot. You remember this shot where he, like, just peeked out and then shot and then moved back instantly? They should just snapped it in. Oh, well, a little bit unlucky. That's all that we can really say about that game. I mean, we didn't earn any credits, but to be expected, kind of, because... I'm running food and stuff like that, so yeah, let's get into the next game. Righty-ho, we are on good old Sand River. I know we're a little bit late into this one, I had to take a phone call. Um, but not much has happened, all we've done is go to this location. And to be fair, like, there's no point in me going in anywhere else. I might as well just wait for something to happen in the middle. Because someone always comes in the middle. We have STB1 that's just situated around here. So... Ooh. I don't actually know if I can pen this guy. Not too sure if that hit anyone. I don't think we would be able to see. I don't even know if the shell will actually go that far. STB knocked out our um, view range. Let's see if we get spotted. Because if we get spotted, the STB's here. We may need to push forwards in a second, but there's also a camp fans on the hill on a T30. Right, this is this isn't actually looking very good for us. We should go back to our original position. Um, and try and cover this flank here because this flank's lost. We've lost both flanks and we don't own like any of the map realistically. We only own our base. So. He just got shot by the T30. So let's try and like dig in here. And hopefully we can actually get something done. It's always awkward these types of games because you can't realistically do anything in this tank to alter the outcome. Because you're too slow. I mean if you do that then it's a little bit different but... We get spotted though. I really didn't want to get spotted there. Keep an eye on. Okay, the bat chat's coming around. The STB1 is going to be coming around as well, I know, but. I'm 
Nothing I can really do about him. Like, I'm just going to try and remain hidden from the STB. Bit unlucky, actually. Bit rushed, but I didn't expect him to start going and mounting the mountain. So... Uh, I can't push forward from here because of the STB behind me and also the SD2. So, we are now... Like, let's be honest, we're going to die here because no matter where I go, I'm going to get shot. So I might as well just face frontally towards them and just see if I can do something because there isn't a lot I can do at this stage. Nice. Good shot into him. I don't know what his plan was. Okay, the STB-1 has gone up, come up like next to me here. Why he would, like, wouldn't try and go around like this to try and peek like these, I don't know. But I mean, to be fair, actually, no. That would kind of be suicide. Eh, actually. I mean, he could just sit here. And then he's hidden from everywhere apart from like if someone's up there. See, look, now he comes around. But now he should die. What do you miss? And there's an STRV. Man. Not a lot I can do. Like, we have so many people at the back of the map camping, and they don't shoot, like... What? I swear he was there. Okay, well, I'm dead. Like, I, I don't get what this TD's doing. And also this WT. That they should have shots on this guy. Like, all they have to do is just sit up here and here, and I don't know why he's run away. Well, GG, I guess. Not very good battles so far, are they? Like, we come top on damage in a tier 10 game. Like, we get a 1-2-1, and they get an STB-1. Yes, yes, very balanced. See, like, STB-1 with heat? Like, I don't have armor. Oh, you got so lucky there. That one, not so much. But that one, he aims for here and he hits here. Now, that's actually kind of interesting that he didn't, like, the heat didn't get absorbed by that. So many times I've shot, like, here and heat just gets absorbed because it's got to go through spaced armor and then it's got to go through tracks. Anyway, let's go into our third and final game. Right, we get Siegfried line with tier 10s. Mm, to be fair, it's not that bad. Debating where I want to go, although to be fair, it's probably going to be, I'm going to have to go wherever I can. Because the majority of people are just going to go there before me. Okay, so Artie's focused on this. I can't go there. That's way too cramped. I'm going to have to go here. See if there's anyone poking along here. I might be able to get a shot in. Not straight away. That I can see. I know Artie's going to hit us eventually. Ugh, okay. There's nothing I can do. If there was someone that was going to peek along this little road here, like here, then I could do something. But like, I can't do anything to a 705A that's hold down. Apart from bounce. We might be able to go out wide, out this way, and see if we can get a shot on this E50. He'll probably poke one of these bushes up here. If not, he's just YOLO'd all the way in.
It's good that we didn't actually get spotted. Go on, try and run away. Uh, T57 heavy. Mm, I don't think he was gonna, he's going to push, but he might. This guy is, might run. Come on, man. Do something. This is boring. I don't know why the Progetto hasn't just pushed him. Nice. Good. Just gonna wait a second uh, to not get spotted. And it looks like we're gonna lose this game. What a surprise. Dep, 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 dep. Let's go around like this. Hello. Who is over here? Nice. We don't get any damage in return. Very good. This is good so far. T57 might be like pushing around in a second, so we need to be careful of that. But besides that, this is looking good. Ah, shalom, my friend. You appear to be. <laughs> You appear to be going into a 50B. It's not working out so well. There's a bloody big fat Yag Tiger in the way. This could end up being a little bit stupid what I'm doing, but we'll see. Oh, Max. Oh, look, his name's Max Damage. I know Artie can hit me here, but... It's fine. Well, the chances of me surviving this are quite slim, I'm not going to lie. I wanted more damage, so. Another fantastic team at our disposal. Very good. Like, I'm not going to lie. It just, I, I shouldn't be losing these. Like, it's honestly put me on the, the losing team three times in a row. Like, think about it. If I'm top on damage here... Top three on damage here. I mean, this one, sure, like, maybe we could have played a bit better, but... But it is just a losing team. Three times in a row. So, yeah, there's nothing you can really do in those types of games. Um, apart from get as much damage as you can, because that will equal more XP, obviously. Um, and past, like, a certain amount of kills, like, it's not going to give you as much XP. So, yeah, I'd much rather get more damage try and increase like this dpg because remember it was like really bad so at least that's rising up again uh, back to 2.1 and that should be it should sit around about like 2.6 ish um this tank is not very fast so when you get into those situations it's not so easy um but yeah that has been the grind Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also leave a comment if the colorblind mode needs to be turned back on. And uh, comment of the day, big gun. 
because we have the big gun. And it is clearly just made this tank leaps and bounds better. Um, because now you can actually trade effectively against people um, and not be so... I don't know, not, not worried, but you're kind of inferior to a certain degree um, with the smaller gun. Because like you just can't make those higher alpha trades. Um, you, you don't in, induce fear into the enemy when you suddenly come around the corner. So, yeah. Hope you did enjoy. And I'll see you all on Wednesday for the next episode of The Grind.